Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the ETF to L season 34 Div 2 Grand Final. Um, I am Kermit Oil Frog and I'm joined with uh, Ipale and Art Rhythm. How are you guys doing? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. I'll answer on behalf of Arch as well. I'm doing great. Yeah. Awesome. He's happy. He's yeah, just happy he's, to be here. He's eating his dinner, I think, by the sound of it as well. <laughs> he's just, he's doing his thing, you know. I'm, I'm being yeah. informed he has, in fact, got McDonald's. So that's, you know, he's doing his business. Professional, as always. I think this yeah. is going to be a, gonna be an interesting old game. Because, like, you know, for anyone who's not been keeping up with the drama, there's been a lot. It's been a lot. Yeah, of I didn't even get far. Say as uh, between delivered uh, and the compound. Compound, I'd say, got their way. Let's say fairly to the finals. Uh, delivered, not so much. Uh, <laughs> if uh, anyone's been uh, keeping track of that, there has been a lot of drama where many people, including the ro half the roster of delivered, I believe they should not be in the finals as they didn't quite fairly make it. They did lose the semi-finals and were given uh, what many call a. Uh, BS a uh, default win against a team called the Zoo. That was uh, definitely an interesting choice uh, by the the admins, saying that uh, a medic being too high a skill division is a uh, a reason to give a default win. Yeah, uh, it's uh, you know it is I'm what it is. Not really sure about that, honestly. Hashtag justice for the Zoo. What can you do? Yeah. I mean, yeah. it doesn't really matter. We have a finals. This is what's going to go on. Uh, I know as well that the compound. Let's say they've been um, perhaps a little bit. You know, this this game's been playing on their mind a bit because uh, there was a lot of suggested mercs as well that the compound were not too interested in accepting as well. As a result, we have some funky old lineups going on for uh, delivered. Uh, we also have a funky lineup for the compound because one of their players got banned for not uploading demos like five hours ago. Yeah, so like, that's a, it's a classic. It's yeah, I I don't know what the rules are anymore. So I think uh, so. God mode is not going to be playing scout as usual for the compound. Uh, he's been replaced with Everix, and we have various players on delivered. I believe left the roster after they lost their game and yep. then couldn't join because of uh, no, the, the, the admins, old roster locks. No, no, they, they, the admins put them back on the team and then they left again because they didn't want to play oh. for the team anymore. Oh my yeah. god! Yeah, it wasn't That's that they couldn't worse. rejoin. They didn't want to be on the team. <laughs> So, shouts to Damon and Lewis. <laughs> um, okay, okay. Yeah. right. So then, so then, then we've got Everex, who has been on the roster the whole season for the compound. He was meant to be a main, and then just has been, I guess, busy with uni, at least for the first, like, half the season. So he's not really played at all. So he's not a Merc. He, he is just a, a team member, a backup. But I don't think he's played much at all with the team. So I don't know how the... What's it called? What's the cohesion? It won't be that. Maybe, you know, one of the great Synergy teamwork with the team. Stuff. Yes. Yeah. And just Whatever. to answer Demul in chat, the Prem Medic that I mentioned earlier was uh, the one and only CJ. He played Prem qualifiers and lost, and uh, that counts as playing Prem in the eyes of the league. I know this because the same happened to me when I played mid. And I was told that I was not allowed to play mid scout because <laughs> I've lost Prem qualifiers. <laughs> Yeah, then on the other side though, for the delivered, they, so they lost their demo, they lost their pocket, so we've got Austin standing in the demo, and we've got Shush standing in in pocket. Uh, it's, uh, it's an interesting one, to say the least. Yeah, I don't really understand what the rules are. I don't think there are any rules anymore. I've, I've heard questionable things from delivered as well, in that some of their players really want to win, others of their players are just like, don't really care that much, yeah. honestly. Uh, I'm sure it's, it's going to be one of those things where, you know, you, you're you like, oh, yeah, I don't really care when you're sitting there in Twitch chat and then the game starts and you're like, actually, I kind of want to stick it to him a little bit, especially because there's been, you know, let's say yeah, some, some banter nice back and forth. Yeah. Chat is going to be, like, absolutely awful, I'm sure. Absolutely awful. If, there, if there's no minor warnings at the end of this, like, at least, I'm going to be actually a little bit disappointed. Yeah. We only have the one team ready. We've only got Austin, AFK, and Spawn. It should be like very soon. What, do you, you know, know? Have you seen much about these teams playing? Like, do you know much about them? Can I ask you for a prediction on what you think the score is going to be here in Viaduct? Honestly, like, so I saw a lot of the the lucky team delivered um, in the earlier part of the season, and they were looking yeah. like really, really solid. You know, they were like absolutely kind of owning their scouts were like really, you know, solid, solid stuff kind of um, together. Their teamwork was pretty good as well. Obviously, they're now with two completely different players anyway. But regardless of that, I would still probably have given the edge a little bit to the compound. I think 
The compound had some fairly close-ish games versus Zypher, which was another top Div 2 team. I did watch that game, and they were just that little kind of step above. Like, on a prediction-wise, even on a regular day, I would give the advantage to um, compound. But especially with, like, Shoot and Austin stepping in, I think it should be fairly clear at like, their game to lose. Yeah, I'd agree with that. And as we said, we are going live. As we said before, this is the Div 2 Grand Finals for Season 34. On the code.rc10, I believe. Yeah, something along those lines. RCX, RC10, whatever it's called. We'll be seeing this first old mid here. No crazy off masses, nothing like that cookie cutter as far as the eye can see. Thing, both teams just take their position. No one going immediately aggressive just yet. So just firing back and forth. Sticky's actually, oh my days! God is just getting two frags. Super, super quick. Taking down Lucky as well. The medic on the side of Delivered, keeping things nice and easy. Now George is going to get bombed as well. Shoosh going in! That all important rocket going to be equalizing this Uber situation. Turned into a scrappy fight, but Storm and Gun again cleaning things up, securing this first mid for the compound. Yeah, we've also got Jevin. Oh, he's been found. I was about to say he's spawn camping, but he did get found just below Cliff here. But uh, yeah, Gona has been just like pounding like all season. I'm not surprised to see him getting three in the first middle. <laughs> he's, I wouldn't say the hard carry of the team, but he does an awful lot of work for them. Between he and KN, like they just have like probably one of the strongest combos in the season in the in the division. Yeah, delivered as well. They want to recontest this. They're getting one, two frags already. Trading frags alongside this as well. Austin is going down. It is actually looking like the compound are managing to regain some control over point. Everett's picking up these two important frags. Gonna be securing this hole. There's a lot of cap time, but with taking down Shush as well, gonna make things nice and easy for them. They've even Managed to build themselves up a little uber advantage here, about 30% on the side of uh, George, Jorge, I don't... I, uh, Jorge. I, I go between something yeah, just that nice and Mr. George, you know. Mr. George, I like Mr. George, Mr. Jorge. <laughs> I'm a big fan of that. Oh my days, God, it's just absolutely frightening so far. This is another frag on the old thing. They're going to be trying to move some of these players towards point, but actually Lucky doesn't quite have his uber yet, and that's a risky endeavor. Austin once again being sent into the spawn queue, and the rest of the team just has to chill nice and far back. This is... Really, really solid cap time so far for the entirety of the compound. 1 minute 30. Basically, his first round is almost half over, and they still got Ubers to get out of the way before anything happens. And it seems like the Delivered have just not really been looking. Like, I think it's just been traps twice now when they've tried to come in here, that they've just died to stickies from going out just the traps. You need to actually try and clear them a little bit, or just jump over them, do something different. They both times are soldiers, their initiators have just died to them. And they're oh, trying to get in now, but they're just standing on the low ground. They're just taking tons of damage. And they need... Their soldiers were both half HP. They can't jump in. Austin's standing, waiting for arrows that are taking a while. Well, finally, they get a pick onto Everex, but Jevin goes down on the other side. This is still looking really good for the compound here, especially KN going in. He's oh, the frag on the lucky! What an absolute disaster! Lucky, two quick directs, takes him down. No Uber for you. Goodbye. At least we will be seeing Mr. George himself using his Uber, but like. That is a rough old situation. No control over point, no control over absolutely anything. All of uh, all of Delivered just has to back up. Like, wait for Lucky again. They're going to be playing with a bit of a new disadvantage. Watch again! Austin is dying. Like, it feels like Delivered is playing this entire game so far, like, without a demo man at all. And now suddenly it's 30 seconds. There's no time to wait for Lucky to be getting this Uber. They need to just go off Uber. And every time they walk forward, Gunner's doing, like, 400, 500 damage to all these guys. Like, he has so much control. They're trying to go deep, though. Bring that space forward. Trying to prevent anything too much from happening as they walk up. They're taking down Mr. George. But every other frag goes away of the compound. Every yeah. single other one. Ten seconds left. They need to just get in and they get on point. But look at this. Lucky's just only with Saikas. Austin's just playing completely off combo there on the other side of the map. And that's just going to be very quick first round, I believe. Saikas getting one frag for the logs. He does not. Oh, it is actually are, just they are, they are doing it, yeah. I guess the longer spawn time's shown that they do matter here. Yeah, but it definitely. is still a full three minutes that the lever will have to hold for if they want to get this round. Especially and... going to be important now because if they want, the compound can actually play super slow here. They do have themselves a bit of an uber advantage, but when they're dealing all this damage again, my days, Lucky and Austin going so, so weak. It's like every time they go anywhere, both scouts taking point as well. They're going to force so many more of these uh, livid players to start moving forward. And the second they start trying to move forward, they're just taking so much damage again. Shushi's going to be picking up one frag before... Storm and Stan combined to take down two. These random pipes coming out from Austin, though, does actually take down Oh hey, So that's going to make things a lot better for them as well. Playing nice and patient with these heals, keeping control of point. Finally, we're starting to see something 
Work a little bit for delivered Uber advantage, a player advantage, some point, you know? I'm liking it. Yeah, a little bit of life left in, uh, in delivered here. Uh, but this, I'm guessing, like, the, the compound have time, they could just go for, like, a four-man sack wave here if they want to, or they can just try and just out-DM the team. Like, Stan's just in, he's getting so much damage onto everyone, and the combo split up, like, KN's behind. Oh my days, this is so, so scary. That actually just capped it completely from underneath them. The rest of Deliver do manage to get to point to block it a bit. We do see one soldier all the way behind them. He should get cleaned up fairly easily. Like as and Devon are on the hunt, so they should be able to take him down. Actually, ooh, a little bit scary. All right, Psychaz is going to ensure he gets that frag as well. Jorge going to be... He's going to be 10% off his own Uber, so you might see a cheeky little trade here as they move towards point. Even one player down, they're just going to be tickling this. Yeah, taking down Shush. All of Lucky's team, they have to move forward. The entire team's delivered. They've got to go towards point. These pipes, though! Austin beasting forward! God, I think I've jinxed it. <laughs> I think you might have. What the hell? Or maybe uh, just delivered or put on their big boy shoes and they're going to try. Were they just playing around at the park the start? You know, now they're they're warming up, they're feeling it, they're ready to brag. That's a, that's, that's just a really unfortunate drop. That's so so scary. And as well, oh my days, that's something that's immediately annihilated. Uber's gonna be getting used now. Lucky walking forward. They do lose two frags actually. They see do manage to secure a couple back. Jorge and Gunner's gonna be all the way back now. No chance of them going down. It's only Stan forward. But he has a scout on his tail. The best he can hope for is to get out, which he will nice. just about be able to. So now it's going to be a big uber advantage for the compound. 30 seconds left on the clock, so they do have time to get their own uber and take a nice, patient move forward. Over-aggression could punish them right now. Through some of these sticky traps from Austin as well. 20 seconds now, and Deep Soldiers are going to be trying to get some serious damage towards these players. Lucky getting taken down once again. So much time towards point. Everex is fully committing this, but the frags again! But Delivered are starting to come in. Uber has been used. Both these scouts have got to scatter so much, but no. The camp time was there for like the last full minute or so for delivered uh, for the compound there like they had like most of the cap gone all they needed to do was exactly that just get a few seconds where like the delivered were just looking elsewhere and they could just get the cap that was a very close first round though much closer than it looked like it was going to be here i thought it was just going to be a quick three minute wait for yeah it was looking pretty rough there for a minute tell me uh tell me what you're seeing on this mid camera we've got one kn's going to do i think the same as last night he's going to wait up on this rock and just wait for anyone and then counter jump. I think that's just the looks like that's a trap for both teams here. Stan's walking in a bit now, hits one direct, but this is a really passive. Yeah, there we go. Stan goes behind, gets a trade on Austin, and Caper just what? just what? in for free on George. Like there was three people around George and nobody turned and shot Caper, who's just behind on Cliff now. Oh my, he's even behind them again, taking a 1v1, he does get taken down, but I mean, he causes such a huge distraction for his team. Lucky as well, he's trying to escape with his life, and he's doing it as well. Everix, one after another after another. Lucky's keeping himself alive though, and Shush securing that frag, makes things so, so good for them. It's all on KN currently on point, along with Stan and Jorge coming in. They're going to be nowhere near Uber, nowhere near the same amount of players, so they should just have to back up a little bit. There might be... Yeah, there might have been an opportunity there to try and get on the lucky, but looks like they're just going to chill or wait for their remaining players. Everx is going to be up now. Let's see if they can spam a little bit, try and force off this Uber from Lucky, because still no one has capped this point. This is, but I don't like saw KN trying to cap at least a little bit at the start there when it was just him alive, really. But you know, it's really not going to happen when you're one v five. So the compound doing a good job here, though. Of, like even though they're Uber disadvantaged, they're doing really well to like just stay forward and make sure that there's there we go Stan forces uber but the compound did well to stay alive there with like big uber disadvantage for so long oh Stan my oh. days what an air shot stand down stand down stand down get away get yeah. away get out the server right okay they're mentally drained at this point even with this uber advantage you know there's there's no coming back from that one round whatever don't even care they do have the uber the ugly walking forward gunner's leading the charge himself the caper's going in easy easy forcing capers even managed to get behind as well lucky he might get caught just a Call little it. bit Ooh. that's Sam's huge. going all the way into spawn here he should get his revenge on the jevin three rockets does the trick Oh my days, they're literally bullying some of these players and somehow, yeah, Caper does manage to get onto George as well, so... Yeah, that's the four-man, the power of the four-man sack. 
It's but look at their spawn times. Jen's the first one up, and he's at the same time as George. This isn't going to be big ad at all for Lucky here. No one actually no, went back to spawn to meet George, but it's still pretty much even over 15% here. It's difficult to go too much on a 15% uber advantage, especially yeah. if one team builds just a little bit better as well. Stan is going to play a little bit further forward, get this info for when Delivered is going to start moving up, and then just back right to the rest of his team, get them keep building this uber. Ghana, as always, playing towards his backside point, making sure all this spam is being rained down, making it really, really difficult for anyone to walk too far forward. Everett, again, getting caught out just a little bit too early. He needs to pipe with some stickies as well. We do see as well, players getting traded. Austin going down. Oh, it's players being traded absolutely every single way. It's going to be four versus four, and these scouts can be all on hitting some of these key shots. We do see Devin a little bit to the side. Him and Stan are going to jump around a little bit. Going to end with Devin getting directly behind Jorge, who's still at 84%. He goes straight up in the air. The air shot gets missed, though. And Jorge's going to be surfing all the way. Uber's getting used now by Lucky, and it really doesn't achieve a great deal now, as their own Uber's going to be going forward. And they're getting as well, and Shush is getting an air shot. He gets behind, he's getting one rocket towards George, no! He's gonna get nothing at all! Clean free take, clean uber, all the way to the side of compound right now. They're looking pretty secure to get some decent cap time now. Yeah, Storm in the clean up there, like, I think got, I think he's on four now, I think got a good few people there trying to get in on his medic. It looked a little shaky there though when he tried to just chase all the way around the house and get his soldier, but they did clean up the soldiers they got. I can't believe they actually met the... George got the Uber without actually getting forced there. Speaking of, here comes the force. Yeah, that's another four-man sack from Delivered. They are just all over point here. Oh, oh my, what? How is the, these frags happening on point? They actually managed to trade for two as well as forcing the Uber, I think. Yeah, Austin even manages to get out after that deep bomb. Yeah, that's I'm interested in this KN cam. Oh, Ooh. they aren't going to push left. He might be able to get a trade in this soldier, but he's obviously hoping for the combo. <laughs> Doesn't even bother. Doesn't, just literally doesn't care at all. Actually, being behind is going to make this force basically guaranteed. He's going all the way into spawn and the entirety of the compound. All they have to do is just keep spamming. Everex again. He picked up a little bit, but at least they can trade off a shush. As long as George is passive enough. Because here comes KN now. He gets one, he gets the frag on the demo, they get the force. But George went down. They lost five for it. Definitely. Oh, cool. oh, oh my God. days. Mate, they, they, they're, they're hitting their shots. They're hitting these air shots today, they feel it. I've just realised that the teams have messed up and there's a time limit on the uh, server. Huh. Uh, they haven't done the Did config, you... the win limit is 5 as well. That's good, I'm glad, I'm glad this is, you know. Even. They've, they've got the, yeah. This is the high tech game that you can expect, you know. It's all good, it's all good. Right, we see the compound, they're trying to move towards point, they're trying to take some position, both scouts getting a lot of cap time as per usual. Taking some scrap little fights towards point. We have Soldier Shush very, very deep behind. But he can get cleaned up. Unfortunately, uh, getting caught by a wall. So, not the best situation. <gasps> KN gets both scouts behind on his own here. It's so, like 14 HP and yet oh, he can't live here. Apparently he can. He that can. was nice. Just at the same time Shush was beside, behind on one side, he went behind on the other. Managed to get two. It's even over here, so we're probably just going to see some sort of awkward exchange on point. Hopefully too many people don't get dropped. No, it's actually going to be just slightly in front of the point. Like I said, yeah. Ubers are getting used to these. A little bit better for Lucky, but not a great deal of players really close. Kayan actually gets a lot of damage once again. So many of these players are so weak. This deep bomb. Oh my days, they're getting actually torn apart in this little doorway. Kaper needs to get taken down by these scouts. Actually, Kaper's just hitting so many shots. He does just about die. Austin's going to throw away his life. Shush as well. Super, super late into that fight. Not taking down Jorge. And this is going to be nine seconds left on the clock, and this should be... Surely, surely a secured second round for the compound. It is looking that way. I'm gonna get some point prizes, but it's huge Uber ad actually. The compound could actually could just give this and just get the Uber, but they get lucky, they're gonna beat everyone as we on point here. This should be three easy frags on Austin, Saikas, and Kafer. Here comes yeah. the Uber on Teverex. Gordon nice. actually got the paper on Austin. Yeah. Psychaz gets cleaned up and that's going to be round the second going the way of the compound. Definitely not quite as uh, not quite as close and awkward as the as the first round, but you know, it's not like there's uh, no success at all for Delivered, you know? A yeah. couple, couple, couple little tweaks maybe? Yeah, hopefully they realise that the config's not quite right and they do change that. 
That would be good. Otherwise, we could have uh, a slightly embarrassing situation. At least we're not like you know going like all six rounds and the time's actually going to run out. We're going yeah. into third mid. Oh my days! It is deep soldiers everywhere for the compound stand. Getting this beautiful little height and KN picking up. Lucky single-handedly doesn't even care. And both these soldiers are dragging every single one of these players behind. The one soldier getting forward onto Jorge is going to do basically nothing at all. He doesn't care. He's keeping himself alive. Soldiers do go down late though, so this is technically a 5 versus 4, even though Austin is so weak, it won't make much of a difference. The scouts though, they're feeling it, but not quite hitting their shots, not quite focusing their targets. And it is actually going to be Storm and Everex securing this point for their team, and obviously keeping their own medic alive, who will be 100% of the old Uber. Oh, Everex kind of feeding on point there, going a little bit too far forward, trying to get a frag onto Shush. George is just going to pop his Uber here. Storm trying to, there we go. Storm trying to go in very hard. I agree, they should get Austin here. I'm saying should. There we go. This could actually sell for a forward hold here. They are go, they are going down, but they could try and hide someone forward. It's probably the better play than an actual forward hold, but everyone's just going to retreat. You know, maybe someone hide out in a little basketball hoop next to main. I want, let's see if anyone even looks. No one's actually looking there. They, they, they could have they gone away with that. I'd they like to done. see that. Have some faith, boys, you know. Have a little uh, have a little bit of respect for yourselves. But it's, he's going to be lucky with his own Uber now, moving towards point. He's got his scout buddy. He's got his scout demo as well. Jumping nice and deep. They're so far taken down. Only oh, Golem. That was a trade as well. Everex gets cleaned up slightly later, but absolutely no chance of them getting Jorge. We do see Kay and he needs to be jumping deep to try and do anything he can. Oh! That was a lot of damage. Okay, that was pretty, pretty close there. It is actually going to force some of these delivered players back just a little bit. And it might make things a little bit easier to try and take this point for free. We do see Austin still actually pretty weak here. Is this Uber starting to move towards point? I'd like to see him just go, just don't even like care about the cap right now. Just use the Uber and aggro right now. They know they have ads yet. They use on Bonux, he's weak, so he's not going to really be in the Uber. Which isn't great. They also haven't gotten lucky, he's just out safely and spawned with 60%. 70 now. Now this could maybe be the forward hold that I was looking for earlier. Provided Gona can get in position fast enough. Yeah, they got the fear. They got mm. the fear, boys. Yeah. Come on, feel it a little bit, you know. Feel it. It's fine. I mean, you know, Lucky gets his Uber, but like, they, you know, you, you can always they, back they, up a little bit. Yeah, they could have gone for it, you know. Like, you, even if it doesn't work out that well, you know, it's a sign of disrespect, you know, in game trying to get in their heads a little bit. Going, yeah, we have huge disad, but you know what? We're gonna forward hold anyway. Ken gets in and gets the force onto Lucky, and he's just behind on Cliff. He's behind and on full HP as well, so like, yep. every single one of these compound players, they're gonna get out, right? And then they're gonna push back in. They should be able to clear up this soldier super easily. Yep, Shush goes down. Kayan's still behind, being an absolute annoyance to two players he's dragged behind currently. Again, Farming right, health back as well. Yeah, he is gonna get taken down, but like, two nearly three. Oh, he gets so much damage oh. as well! He actually almost would have got that escape plan unlucky, but he just landed on like, the little window ledge. A few people have gone down for the compound though. Oh god, Gona's gone down as well. Yeah. And we've got Caper going for the force. George has to pop. You hate to see it. Actually, Caper's still up. Come on. What? Come on, boys. Come on. No. Oh, oh my god, Shush with the direct on Everex as well. They both that live. Is just hor that is horrific. Oh, okay, okay Shush. Stand with a long <laughs> <laughs> The punish, right. You can't oh. both get out. Caper was enough. Caper was enough, you know? Yeah. That was some premium beef, though. Kian going oh. behind again. He, ooh, nice direct on the Jevin. Okay, this is a little bit unfortunate. This is actually just a yeah, compound just walking forward and just killing everyone. This is not the best situation. Kian again, super, super deep. He won't even take down anyone at all. He'll at least force Austin out. This point is going to get secured. 48 seconds left on their clock. A little bit of uber advantage. You've got to wait for these spawners to come in. This has got to be some fat, like, you know, if we can get some of these classic Austin randomly pipes uh, Jorge and kills him, that would be dope, yeah. you know? That, that's kind of what they need in this situation. Yeah, they just need that one kill Mary sort of play. Would get them an opportunity back in this game, though. Once yeah. again, Austin oh, actually just walked on the five stickies, so that's not the best situation at all. They do both have their own Uber, so it's going to be a trade towards point. 20 seconds, they can't really afford to waste any time. You see, where the compound are playing, they're just playing nice and chill. They know they have to move forward, getting all this spam, forcing off Lucky as well. Be flashing both of his scouts, and Jorge's going to be flashing absolutely every member of his team. Get this one frag, a lot of damage towards Lucky as well. He was actually managing to uh, nearly tight away, but 
he will go down as well. Three lonely players on the side of Delivered. And they have an absolute mountain to complete right now. They started it though. Paper and Psychaz doing pretty well. It's all on this one scout now who's actually managing to keep this Kaplan towards point. Gon is going to be hitting this pipe. Shush now just about arriving. He's going to get taken down. And the Kaplan is just not there. 3-0. And the first map going the way of the compound. Gona just pounded like that entire map. Yeah, I'm looking at the logs. 425 BPM and he went 21 and 8. They've just realized they haven't done the config. So yeah, <laughs> the game is over. Jesus. I I did think that was gonna be a big gunner game. Like yeah. massive credit to him. He was just owning every time they were like walking up point. But more than that, like it seemed like he really had like austin's number right like he would just put down stickies he would just spam like a little bit and then somehow austin would just like run over the stickies and die and he'd be like well yeah. you know it, like that happened like three or four times at least i swear to god oh yeah for sure it's i don't know he he just has been doing this all season he just consistently puts out huge numbers like even if it's not like a lot of kills it's either it's a lot of kills a lot of damage or a lot of both <laughs> like he doesn't seem to really his game, like, I don't know, his DM's really good, but sometimes I feel his actual just game sense on 5CP maps can't let him down, though, and he'll just, like, die in, like, stupid positions. But otherwise, like, maps here, you can see he just pounds. His, D his DM's just incredible. It's, it's, it's crazy as well. It's, like, it's not just the, the damage being dealt. It's the fact that, like, he just didn't die, right? Like, eight deaths? Yeah. Like, you know, he, he had less deaths than Lucky did that game. And it's, like, when your demo's constantly alive on Viaduct and dealing the damage, it's, like, that constant threat of checking stickies and every time you walk up like any of the slopes it's like cool we get to take like 80 90 damage a piece every single time you walk up you know the random pipes going everywhere it's such an annoying thing to deal with and it's such a heavy contribution to like deliver just not being able to go anywhere right like they it never felt like they were able to tickle point for longer than like a couple seconds they, they'd try it yeah. they'd really really go for it but it just like i don't know gunner was just uh yeah he, he was doing it top heals for his team took 30 percent heals I'm gonna I'm gonna just take this moment though to complain about the iron bomber because it is a pretty BS weapon I'd say, but it's everyone except for my man Aubriac. Everyone seems to just use it full time because it is just pretty broken I'd say. And you can see there, like uh, looking at the damage, mo like the majority of the damage for Austin was with the iron bomber, I think a considerable amount still for Gona as well. I've always got to complain about that iron bomber. I hate it. It's a rough world that we live in, you know. Don't worry, Val will fix it any second now. Just you wait. Just you wait. Yeah, let's go to see who. Oh, Jevin got top air shots in the server. Shush, second with seven as well. That's the that's the the most important stat, to be honest. You know, they did it it's, by it's a air good shots. It's why well, people actually. play the game. Yeah, like you know, they had a combined sixty air shots to like the four of the other guys. Like, yeah, it's like you know, you lose, right? You get owned. You had a terrible time, right? Got the most air shots though. Apparently, uh, Kane and Stan ain't, ain't too good. They need to be playing the old end diff a little bit more. Come on, boys. How yeah, I many was it? Because, let's see, Kane got three. I did see him hit, like, a ton of upwards directs. I guess just a bunch of them were just on people that were standing on clip or something. But, um, oh, actually, we've got Saika's got top accuracy as well for people that care, 76%. Next slice is, like, 68 or something. And that was on Everex. I hope yeah. you're, I hope everyone is uh, paying attention with these sunny black stats, you know? That is the this is the first time since season 17 that a German scout has had above 75% accuracy in a best of three. That that's not a true right. fact. That's not a true fact, right? Okay. But that sounds like a sunny black stat. Okay, a sunny okay. black stat, you know? It's good. Right, we go in second map. We're going to be going to Granary of all things, and then potentially a Reckoner Decider if... Your boys on Delivered can buck their ideas up a little bit. We obviously, we made the prediction that uh, the compound were going to look a little bit stronger. Uh, obviously, 3-0 on Viaduct, definitely not the best case scenario, but obviously Granary is a very different beast. It is 5CP and it's a very specific old map to be playing, you know? Favours very different classes to Viaduct. And that might be, like, I'm going to be optimistic. It might be something a little bit better, something, you know, slightly more suited to Delivered. I mean, it should be their map pick, presumably, right? Uh, yeah, but I think there's a new system where it's like you just ban maps and whatever is left, you don't actually like pick any remaining. Like, it's like you ban four and then pick out of the pick the order of the three remaining ones. It's weird. Huh. Yeah, I only learned someone told was telling me about this like the other day, and it looks like though the compound didn't actually play Granary this season. They got default like a default one on the week that it was Granary. So I'm not sure how the Granary is. 
I actually, I I'm sure I saw them play it once. Oh, it might have just been a retroactive default or something. Oh, yeah, possibly. It might be one where, like, a team dropped or something to that effect. Yeah. As it does happen. Uh, I mean, you would imagine, based on a lot of these players, like, you would you would think, like, no one really gets to the finals of Div 2 having never played some of these maps before. You would, uh, you know, you, you would the imagine playoffs. they'd have a... Ah, they didn't you. play it in the regular season, but I watched, I think I casted them playing against, like, what I, I think it was the Team Violence in, like, the semifinals. Uh, the quarterfinals. And they, like, barely won it. Actually, I don't know why I, why I said that, because they literally played... Yeah, no, the compound played... They played Zypher, and they beat them on ground rate, because they actually fed, like, two mids in a row. Yeah, yeah, it was 5-3, yeah. A little bit embarrassing, honestly. But, bit yeah, 5-3 there, and then 4-2 against Violence. I knew I'd seen it, but, yeah, they didn't. It was just not in the regular season. But What like, are you going to say? Another win for them? Yeah. But, like... As you, even though you were saying like it does favor different classes, it Gona is still gonna like pound. I feel on this map, I can I can feel it. I don't know if he's gonna like roll out incredible. Like I'm I sometimes I don't know how, but that sometimes we just do like an incredibly fast rollout and just end up. I don't know if it's they do a fast rollout or the other demo does a slow rollout and just over commits. But like there's been a few times where I've seen demo just get destroyed like really early on. It's, I feel like so much of it as well is it's it's not only like the speed, it's kind of getting the read of where they're going and like if that first sticky like juggles a guy to the right where he needs to move like to the left to get the pack or like vice versa, yeah. like whatever, like it's just literally just like, what well done, you won the mid. You killed the demo, you, you basically won the mid at that point. Half the time if your demo goes down like first few seconds of mid, the teams just don't even bother playing it. Because they're just like, yeah. this is not going to happen, right? Like you've got to do so much so fast. I would definitely give the advantage again to the compound, but I would like to see something pretty big from the soldiers on the side of um, Delivered. I think ultimately, when you're making comparisons of Demo, Gunner to Austin, I think it's a rough comparison to make. I think Gunner wins that every yeah. second of every day, basically. So I think yeah. there's going to be a no heavy BM, emphasis on these soldiers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm also not sure what we're waiting on. Oh, actually, as I say that, the team's ready up. That <laughs> every, every time I say this, it happens. So I saw one team ready up. So yeah, uh, map two of the Div 2 Grand Finals here between the Compound and Delivered on Granary. Map one going the way of the Compound on Viaduct, winning it a cool 3-0. Yeah, they're going to see if they can... The uh... score, okay. Let's see if they can continue the same thing. Once again, much faster, taking off this pack. Austin, he has no choice at all. He has to walk towards the left, play a little bit slower, get his old heals from Mr. Lucky, then try and walk forward. He's actually quite a lot by himself. The first frag's going to be Everex, though. Picking up this one soldier. Gona getting taken down. Austin hitting those stickies. I feel like he listened to things. So much damage being dealt by KN, but ultimately, no frag's going to be gained at all. It is going to be, right now, everyone on the side of Delivered playing nice and patient. Stan. Jumping in all by himself, no chance at all. And it's going to be Storm and Everex. They try and move forward, try and take some position here. The entirety of Deliver basically just haven't left this corner for the entirety of the mid. And it's just working for them. One by one, cleaning up all these compound players. It's only going to be George and Storm going to be backing up now to meet up with their spawners. KN on the battalion's backup, seeing as max HP a little increase there. But I don't know why at the very end of mid there, there was four people alive for Delivered and only like three. They'd ever X Storm and George. The... Delivered could have just cut them off by going yard. They're just gonna pop the river. They're just gonna go for a weird exchange here. George is all. Oh no. This is, oh no. This is a disaster. This is not what you want to be seeing if you're on Delivered right now. No, it's not. Two people mess. hiding, trying to go for like forces slash backcats, but that was just an awful exchange. I don't think Austin even had like any ammo. He shot like one pipe and then just stood yeah. there like, well, I'm out. I guess that's that's basically it. Unlucky. Yeah. And we've got Caper behind, probably just going to try and go. And Jevin going for a back cap. Stan's just hiding in zero. Yeah, they're ready for this. They're paying attention. In the meantime, the rest of the combat for the compound is just going to be walking on to mid. Completely uncontested. No, we're just going to get used at all. Stan, he's going to be sticking it to the boy. Doesn't yeah. care at all. A little yeah. bit of BM as well. They're going to stack point and just make sure Caper doesn't get these forwards. Still, with an uber advantage, they should bare minimum be taking a yard here. If they... If they were super fast, they could look to go into them, but Lucky should be getting his own Uber in time, and they are actually playing up top right now. They should be able to play regularly as soon as the super comes out, which is now. And now this is going to be some little stalemating on second. Possibly 
we might see, yeah, Stan's getting pretty aggressive up top again, doing some really, really significant damage here. A couple of players going super, super weak and actually having to back up all the way towards last to get some heals, but no one's going to go too crazy off this. KN still has his battalion's backup, so I'd like to see them just stalemate it out until he's built that, but they're just going to lose Stan and George here. They just need to, or, and Storm even, and Everex. This is um, not looking hot. For the, for the compound here, but they are going to get the force that they get the frag oh, What? This that's, is just a crumble. Right here comes the very late banner. He's all by himself. He's jumping in. He gets one rocket. Oh, so close on lucky. Not going to hit, mate. Not going to hit. I love the optimism. Not going to happen at all. Absolutely awful, Uber. Like, absolute mess at all. Lucky's still going to have his own. And we're going to see some more leapfrogging now. So, right, they take control of mid. This time, though... Jorge's going to be on a much, much more significant uber disadvantage than Lucky was in the same situation a few moments ago. So this time, Team Delivered can just look to go all the way, basically. Yeah, Storm's already on last putting up a gun. It's a bit, it's sad, but it's probably the smart choice to make. Just, they know they're going to get second, so they might as well get a head start in their last defense by having the gun up super, super early here. Oh, no! Who doesn't check the exit sign stickies in 2019 in Golden? Just piping down two more! Dude is absolutely nuking. That is Devin such a mistake. Punch, but it's not, I don't think it's going to matter. Yep, he's just, you just kill things <laughs> mid air. That's, That's what I was saying. Gona, I, I could. That was foreseen that he was going to pound. Yeah, nah, he's just an absolute king. All right, yeah, more more leapfrogging once again. Oh, he's going to have his uber, big old uber advantage. If he can manage to get through that same spot without dropping, that'd be pretty fantastic. Let's check his stickies. Yeah, the sniper's going to make things a little bit annoying, perhaps. Uh, it's been stuck off, and also he's been checked. I think Storm just ran up to the side to spawn. Actually, it was a break. Yeah, they were both sitting at the spawn, making sure he couldn't do anything. But yeah, full. Well, 20% add here, I guess, for the compound. They need to get in on Lucky. They get Jevin really early. Gona gets the sentry as well. If they just stick a point, they can, Storm could just play this and probably get the round. Yeah, 95% on Lucky right now. He's still trying to keep the team attached. 99%. He's just about getting it. He used it immediately. But it's just him and Caper. They managed to pick up KN. That's literally it. The rest of the compound, they're not even bothering leaving. They're actually just trying to juggle these players off point. They don't even care about you, but they just stand on that. Yeah. Yeah, they, it was like, I think, I don't know what happened. Gona got blasted away by something for the Uber, and then just, instead of going for Lucky, just settled for the Sentry and just getting some damage on point. I feel that they could, like, it still worked, but I feel they could have probably sticky point a lot earlier there, and maybe won a bit quicker. But needless to say, very well played by the compound there. Very unlucky for, for Lucky, though, and uh, Caper, being the only two alive in the Uber. Pretty unfortunate. Going to the second mid now, we're going to see. Obviously, we did see Delivered taking control of last mid, playing nice and patient. This time, we're seeing some Roma's trading frags. Yep, both Payan and Devin are going to be going down here. So, basically a 5v5 right now. Stan and Gunner taking some decent position here. Once again, forcing the entire team Delivered into this little corner. But it's looked like both teams are basically mirroring at this point. No one feels like they've got a significant enough initiation just yet. The spam is slightly going better in the way of the compound. They can pick up Caper as well, but he's going to get traded out immediately by Saikaz as well. Saikaz, though, he's taking matches into his own hands. He walks forward straight on to Gona as well, getting some decent damage, forcing actually off the Uber. It's going to be significantly better for Lucky at this point. Taking out Stan as well, and Storm and Jorge, they just got to back up. Yeah, that was a really weird pop. Oh, oh shoot! shoot. shoot. Oh, that was meaty. Just gets the instant frag on George. That was a really weird Uber. <gasps> KN? Pops Lucky up near, misses the, <gasps> this, misses the air shot. I can't believe Lucky. That is insane. Okay. Where was the rest of the compound for that as well? Yeah, that was everyone was just like, nah, bro, you got this, you're fine. We actually have Storm once again. Bro, you need to get a little bit more optimism in your life. He's just sitting there with a gun on last. I'm not sure if he knows there's about a 10% disadvantage and that's it, but they can look to just play on second here. There's no worries at all. Okay, I think he's got the memo. I think he's getting faxed or something. He is on scout again. Moving towards point. It is going to be absolutely fine. Psycho's going down. So much damage being dealt again. Austin cleared up as well. And Lucky's just all by himself. Then he's getting run out towards the flank. Everett's just at least cleaned up by Caper, but the damage has been done. We've got one soldier. Can he pull off this corner strat? No. Oh, no. Go on, go on. Turns and checks. <gasps> oh, Jevin! That makes no sense! That's just ridiculous. Did he, wait, did he, was George weak? 
He wasn't, like, he, he was like 150! Have... Did he just like get the two rockets? Oh man. You hate this that you truly hate to see that. That's ridiculous, you, right? Yeah. 30 okay. ads for lucky. Get the gun up on last boys for <laughs> Storm's like, nah, I'm not even gonna bother. Come on, bro. This this is a time where it makes sense, but they're Plus gonna he's chill. Bonus his magic. He's got some stickies on another exit sign here. Oh, control point sign. He's it just on his own. See, this is the sort of thing he'll do, and sometimes he'll just feed for it. Mm, he's feeling okay, it. He's feeling it. This time he's but... backing up. Yeah. This 40% adds actually only turned into about 20%. They're not building fantastically right now. I think they still want to go off this. I guess. Peeking and prodding and seeing if they can at least get into Yard right now. It looks like the compound are going to be content to give away Yard just for the sake of yeah. this remaining 5% of Uber. And it is going to be equal now, playing things nice and easy. Austin actually just getting picked up again! Super, super clean. Kane just walks in, gets out for Ag, walks away, doesn't even care. No biggie. And they might want to get aggressive as well. You're going to just walk... Actually, we've got two people. Imagine Emmerich pushed up really far into the yard, they just kind of bullied the flank out there. <gasps> Everyone's just been bullied out. I swear I just saw a huge airshot on the storm there. Yeah! KA yeah. goes down for the pose. The health on delivered really bad right now. Yeah, there was both soldiers back to back. Kaper gets stan after he gets the soldier. They're gonna have to go back for this. This is just Kaper 101. Go behind, take a 1v1 and then start a back cap. Know, he's he's like... gonna... Yeah, he's just gonna get out as well. Yeah. Read them like a little book there. Making things a little bit easy, preventing anyone from the compound from moving forward. And once again, we're gonna have a little uber advantage for Lucky here. It's only 50%, not much. You may see a similar situation, or potentially... I think I'm just peeking in product. I thought maybe they might want to off uber a little bit from this right-hand side, try and see if they can get one frag and turn it into something else, but... I don't think they're feeling that confident right now. They are still one round down. Ten minutes of the game has passed, so still a lot of time to work with. And they are, yeah, they're going to be going for this tiny little Uber advantage push. It's going to be lucky using his Uber 99% on Jorge now. And he'll be using his, and it's going to be so, so much better. Shush should be getting cleaned up here towards the back line. So he's dancing and he's diving a little bit. That was, that was a nice little flick there. But the help going up was just really low health there. Austin goes down as well. This... Numbers aren't looking good at all here, though, for the compound as much as they did get some important picks. They just, honestly, they have small Uber out here, they should just go last. They're 3v4, they should know this. They should realise that their number's down and they can't really hold. Yard, at least. Yeah, Stan looked like that he was... That was nicely done. Yeah, pretty keen towards point, looked like he was... You know, he looked scary enough, you know, he... he scared a couple people just enough to prevent them from pushing in too much. These stickies! Gona can just seemingly walk wherever he wants every now and then. He's, yeah. he's always getting aggressive. He's just like the front of his team at all times, just peeking, prodding, whatever. Taking out Shushin can do a great deal, though. Only allow their flank to be just slightly more aggressive. They might potentially just want to look out. Yeah, they actually have four players all the way out through Z. And they're going to have to try and see if they can take control of at least some portion of Yard here. They're going to walk forward now. Ubers for both medics. Spam's going to be dealt significant by Austin, but actually the entirety of... Delivered, they're going to be backing up so much into the same area. Damage is going to be dealt very, very shortly. Everest is actually that first frag. Uber does get used first by Lucky, so it's going to be quite significant for Compound to try and get some more frags off this. We have so many players as well trying to go for dodgy little backup attempts. Caper's still towards point. Austin's going to be taking down Stan. Makes things so, so much better. And this is actually a scary moment if you're on the side of the Compound. They're actually going to back all the way. KN yeah. still all the way behind. You should get seen. Yeah. Lucky, lucky had a really nice flash action at one point there onto, and he's just standing in the yard just taking it. Yeah, lucky got a nice flash on to Shush at one point there, during the but it was really nice, but they're just going to go in and last, they've got Everex on Heavy, but they have no time to set up a gun. Let's see if this Putus can... Oh, big time actually there for Haunted Jevin. And Everex did get one as well. Yes. Gona goes down, that's pretty unfortunate, but... I... And it is even over, so there's, there's just that last hold here. Storm's down as well, so no gun. Yeah. Alright, it's just one of the situations where you try, you peek, you prod, you do whatever. We are seeing Devin actually on Spy, so... One of the first actually aggressive off classes we've kind of seen this entire game. We're gonna see if we can get a little bit of success. It seems like right now the compound, though, they're happy to just kind of chill once again. We have got yeah, a banner up on the side of a... Oh dear. Everyone's just farming for logs. 
Don't what? even care. Jevin's trying to go in this top area where everyone is spamming. I don't know how I'm feeling about this. Right, he's going for it. He's in. Oh, and he's in on the pipe. <gasps> Flashbacks to Mookie versus Seven like two years ago. If you remember that one backstab he got, where Raymond was in this exact position where Jevin is, and somehow Mookie got the backstab. That was one of the most ridiculous five plays I've seen in sixes. Let's see if we can get a repeat. No, he drops down and takes ball damage. Thankfully, no one actually is looking. No one sees at all. Yeah. He's still actually in a pretty crispy spot and actually... Everett's oh, not even bothered to well. look. Yeah. The so I guess, I guess gonna work. no one's spy check really. It'd be hard to see. I think he's on all default except the token dagger. I don't have the hat. I've got no hats mod, so I can't tell if he's <laughs> if he's throwing at all for his team. Stands on sniper here. Where is he? Oh, he's on far left. Okay, he headshot Psychas. Doesn't get it. Jevin going for another roll. <laughs> he just missed the like, the one shot that he had left there. Ken popping his buff banner just to save his medic. Again, this, Austin and both Ubers have been popped. This is a little bit dodgy from both him, not the Capers cleanest. Are... Yeah, Capers towards point. I mean, like he's just basically just going to get mulched down. Fair enough. Yep. We still have Shush hiding towards top as well. Hayden didn't see it at all. Oh, Shush wants to make himself known. He wants to at least take a fair fight. And yep. he'll uh, <laughs> get a cheeky little taunt against him as well, just to, you know, just yeah, for was... a little bit of BM there. Okay, and still on the buff banner as well, I'm a fan of that. Is that someone in drop? Yeah, Jevin dropped up. I think he must have just jumped up, dropped down, and I missed that. But he's behind here, and no one knows, because you don't really expect people to jump up, drop down. He is using the original, so it's, a, it's he's on easy mode. Ken's going back for ammo. Could the timing work? No. Mm, I feel like this is going to work pretty well here for Jevin. Yeah, like, they have absolutely no idea at all. They're so far picking forward, no one is even considering this possibility. Maybe... Like opening a shutter might get someone listening a little bit. Austin going mm. down. That's not particularly great though. It might actually just be that the compound just kind of waddled forward a little bit. It's actually yeah. unfortunately like the worst situation for Jevin ever because he's basically behind now being a bit useless. He can go for a back app. He can make this annoying. Ubers are getting traded towards point now. But Ubers basically equal at this point. Compound might look to try and recommit off this. Devin has now been spotted, takes a bunch of damage. They should know he's all the way behind now. But that's yeah. actually just going to commit all the way towards point. Frank's being traded, so much cap time towards mid. It's gonna have to be like all on delivered right now. They've kinda gotta block this point if they want any success in this back half. But they're just kinda gonna get taken apart. There's just yeah. Austin and Lucky in this corner. Yeah, they're getting pretty mulched. Everex, one, two, easy cleanup. Jevin's gonna be there as well along with his buddy Caper. Be jumping nice and he's trying to get some rocket. Yeah. Huge be cleaning up for hey. And a 1v1. Oh, the Scout King's Caper. Go on, buddy. Go on, buddy. He's going for it. He's not hitting it. And he'll get taken out by Ken. Could have worked. Yep, Kian making sure his scout takes the health pack as well. That was, uh... That's basically, like, what has been the game plan for Delivered, like, most of the season. Just, like, I don't really know how, so I'm not watching too much detail, but it's basically Caper. Like, it was Jevin at first behind, but Caper will also just get behind and back him, and then just sit behind. It's like uh, watching, like, a mini Stark, basically. Making plays behind as often as possible. Austin going down yet again, uh, and I'll, what should just be an even overhaul. Yeah, I mean, I feel like Austin's trying to make this game a little bit reasonable here for the compound. Maybe he's like, you know, one of the players in disguise. He's like, you know what, boys, I'm not long for this world. I might as well just die now. Shoes being all the way behind is actually going to allow the compound to walk all the way in here. We do see Psychaz get kind of nuked into the corner. Lucky's going to get his own uber forced off now. Jorge has a much, much, much better uber now. Just only using the flash with some of these players. Garnus is going to be walking board, mulching down this paper heavy. The other frags somehow seem to go the way. I still feel like this is looking pretty good for the side of compound. They have a soldier all the way on the high ground, and he's pretty healthy as well. But somehow these pipes are just connecting. It's such a crazy hold. I'm really blaming really Everex a little bit there. I watched them just, like, after the Uber, just run to the spawn and just try to wing her down Lucky instead of just helping his team playing heals and shooting soldiers. Not entirely blaming him, but that was definitely a bit of a throw. Especially just trying to use the winger to kill people. That, that's a mistake. That weapon is, it's a utility item. It's not, it's not a real weapon. Oh my god, this flank, flank play! Yep. Yeah, they're actually fully committing all the way towards this left-hand side. Takes down and Austin again. Caper and Austin. Billy for bullying. 
this is bullying. This is this is bullying Austin at this point. I feel like the compound are perfectly happy to do that. They don't really care. Yeah. They can look to off even. Like he's still 25% away. They're gonna be committing quite deep through left hand side. Shushi super close. He gets established and prevents the skills from moving forward. That's significant, but obviously he's gonna die. Lucky now 90%. He's getting so so weak oh, in the corner. All oh, these players are towards point. Yeah, they were just getting bullied back by the soldiers really. Stan hit so much damage there. He like tried to direct Lucky like three times and everyone else just ate the damage for him. <laughs> I'm sorry, incredible get down Mr. President moment. But it's yeah, a we're beautiful going into little moment, here. Yeah. Everett's Mid. already on three dawns, 20 minutes in. Sweaty, you know, and sweaty. Gona's a He's lot healthier than mid tier as well. Again, Austin, I don't know what's what the difference is. Austin had to wait for an arrow in the corner. Yeah, we seen yeah, deep soldier bomb is going to get quite a bit of damage again. So many of these players forced towards the corner. The damage is really, really good. They've not really secured loads of frags, but it's going to prevent them from being able to go anywhere. What the heck? <laughs> How does Jevin still alive? He sticks Gunner. He's still alive. He's still alive at all times. No one. Okay. He will get taken down. Okay. A little bit of a weird mid. Shush is well going to be hiding close. Potentially Storm won't check him at all. Okay. That's make me legend of Beaver. Wrong map, but it's making it. I think George seems to. Yeah, George was like, like flailing his mouse around. He looked as if he knew someone was behind. He just didn't know where. But Shush is behind now, and he's dead. I appreciate it. You know, he went. Yeah. He gave it a go. He didn't die super late, so he should be up for at least like the tail end of this over here. And Cape already got the level three gun up. We've got the heavy on the pipe. A solid looking start to a hold for delivered. Yeah, it was going to get used. Gun is going to be the first casualty here as well. Now moving towards Pipe Storm wants to take down this very, very weak heavy. The arrow is just by keeping Sakai's like has a life for just a little bit longer, but we'll be going down as well. So many of these players, the soldiers on the high ground are getting actually nuked. KN picking up some easy air shot stats on the old logs. So it's not the stickies, but it is a bit of a 5v4 situation. They're forcing the delivered players towards point, and once again, Everett's doing a whole bunch of damage, getting those frags, securing this third round. Ten minutes left on the clock, it's got to feel rough if you're delivered right now. So far, yeah. they've uh, managed to lose six rounds and not really win one. That uh, feels bad, man. What else can you really say? Yeah, like on that last bit though, when you were hit, like, uh, the, getting the escape plan onto Gona, it was like a weird bomb from Jim, like, got himself in between Gona and the combo. Like, just down that side alley, Gono was stuck, just isolated, and he was just standing there hoping for an arrow that just never came. And <laughs> he just got skill stick there. Raw power, you know, this time it's going to be delivered. They're going to aggressive towards this right-hand side. Good damage being dealt. Two frags already in their favor. And a third on KM just to secure the deal here. Stan, as well, basically with zero health. And Jorge, he's going to get cleaned up nice and easy. Stan, not long for this world. This Everax actually on the back line is not quite winning this 1v1. That would have been super crisp to try and prevent this point from being capped, but nope. Looks like this is going to be delivered, taking the fight all the way. And Austin's actually getting some cheeky sticky towards point. Uh, sorry, towards spawn, uh, but no one walks out that one. So that's a little bit sad. And he gets a headshot! Oh, to punish Austin! Bro, like, you just playing for the compound at this point. I'm sorry. You tried. You gave it a go. Hey, Dactor. Paid actor, like Everex calling out uh, Saika's nice buff noob on mid there after he uh, lost the 1v1. Any any excuse. Pretty That's what sad, the X like... on Everex is for. Excuse. Toxic. Ex yeah, right. Like he's still got his Uber now. It is gonna be uh, Austin spawning. He gets with the rest of his team. He's going all the way towards top. He was getting used, but Saika gets dropped before anything happens. Team was not ready for this at all. They don't have a scout at all with their Uber. And the rest of the team's just getting molten in this corner. Lucky as well. Tries to escape towards point, but he's going to get cleaned up. KN says, nope, that's not going to happen at all. And absolute disaster push. Somehow they had all the time and work to prepare, and then they just didn't. It's going to be Kaper running forward. No, that's not... Scout's good, right? But surely it's not that good. I oh. say that. You did get okay. a one-week shot, yeah. <laughs> okay, a little bit scared. It isn't that good. G oh, what? Psychos gets the headshot. Oh, George. I don't even know where he came from. I don't even know what the hell went up. I don't understand. This game's just turning into like pure carnage, right? Orhei's gonna get taken down. Storm and KN, they're gonna feed as well. Stan might even manage to die here. All the players are just everywhere. And Stan just sticks him twice. 
What's happening? Is this like a DM server now? They're going to get an air shot. That's a wool shot. That don't count, right? Don't uh, count. That, was, that was one better. I'm if Caper got the credit, I'm pretty sure Stan just kill binded before he could get the. No! <laughs> yeah. Stan! Shout out to Gink. That's disgusting. That's actually disgusting. You don't kill binding and get an air shot, even if it's a wall shot, right? You don't do it. That's. Right. Admins default this. You you, you, you don't care anymore. Just, just default whatever. Jevin has checked two sticky traps. He's checked. Ah, oh, there we go. He's finally shot the. Sticks out from the uh, little. I don't know what that is on the wall. Little hubcaps or tires for car wheels. I don't know what that is. But he finally shot them like after checking two other traps. So Gona should not get anyone really with stickies here. He's getting far too much damage though. So. Yeah, he's gonna be chase. forcing. Health forcing for delivered here. Three of them are like half HP and half of them are on the blank. The end gets one and cleaned up. Oh my god, I'm just, just I'm just trying to gather like what's going on. Everyone's just going in. Everyone's just, just doing like whatever they want. We have soldiers towards top, like players are going back and forth and Everett is still alive. He still has heals, but he is versus three. Doesn't seem to really care though. He's just kind of running in a straight line at Austin. Somehow yeah, he he's to... like still buffed. Yeah, he'll need to go beast mode if he wants to get anything really done here. And he's, no, he beats his 1v1 in yard and they just lose the round. Yeah. Okay, this is officially doable still. This is the first round of the night. It took them a while to get there, but I mean, there's six minutes left on the clock. Only need to get at least two rounds during that time. This is a little bit doable. The mid of just, you know, running at right side and just going for the immediate frags seemed to work pretty well for Delivered. Maybe just do the same thing again, uh, why not? I, I want to say I-49, Broder as TCM against, like, Immunity. Where on, on this map where they brought it back, like, six rounds in six minutes or something. Are we going to see something similar here? Definitely too. Yeah, it is very, very possible. All soldiers in the server are in the air right now. They're all just landing on each other. KN hitting a nice little wall shot, but should get taken down. Caper though, he just walks all the way forward, takes down Jorge. It's going to be so much on Lucky and the rest of his team. Like Lucky's begging his boys, boys, just play together, play with me. Storm's just straight behind him though, hitting that one shot, not quite getting the damage though. Securing that frag, and it is another one mid for the side of Delivered. This is going to be another big old uber advantage. There's always a risk in all these messy little situations where they got to check everything. Check every hider, dude. Six, five, four spots, all the spots. Check for sniper, all that kind of stuff. But they should be nice and clean, taking control a second. It is going to be... I don't know why Everett is not heavy here. Yeah. Uh, it's like, he's looking to build as if they, they killed Lucky. Okay, Storm went, went heavy. Okay, that's fine. At least they've got a heavy on the high ground here. As the Uber does come in. When it gets popped, I guess. They've wow, lucky waited a long time before popping there. Yeah, but they're still trading frags all the way. They do manage to pick down Jorge. That's going to make things a little bit easier. No heals at all. But then Austin dies again. Lucky somehow all by himself. Shoot dies as well. They're all getting just mulched down. And somehow it's just Caper all by oh, himself God. hiding in just bet, the biggest idiot spot work. ever. Yeah, this works, I'm gonna scream. Oh no, okay. he just, he, he, he just, <laughs> yeah. I guess we wanted it to work out to go, but they were still capping second, but Ooh. no one stayed. That was a little crisp as well. Right, Psych okay, this time. Again. Yeah, it worked last time. Maybe it can work again. Four minutes on the clock, though. They can't really afford to wait around. We do see Jevin as well, all the way behind, so maybe they're just gonna look to try and walk all the way forward. Austin again! The first guy to be taken down, and there's so much damage being dealt with this sniper and soldier. That is getting clean, torn apart by Storm. Jevin, all the way behind, is the only real hope. He is on the pain train, right? Because he is living in 2019. He's got the big brain strategy. He actually is very close to solo capping this. Two, three players can be coming back now, so close on that time. But he's going to get taken down, no chance. This is all right now in the compound. Just play nice and patient, slowly as well. They've got this uber advantage. They just need to basically tick down the clock if they want to secure this. Yeah, they could just park the bus here for a minute or so and then go for a push and be pretty safe in the knowledge that the 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 delivered can't make a comeback. But they are just they're not gonna wait, they're just gonna push take yard, but they they must know it's close to like even. They'll hear what? lucky call, I think, soon. Yeah, they hear it now. But they're still gonna go in for the exchange. I'm not sure where that's gonna make it dropped here. Oh! <gasps> not blast! He's a king! He doesn't even care and he gets out! What a champ! They sacrificed Storm's life for it, but you know, I feel like it's worth it. You know, this is yeah. the dying few minutes of the game. You've got to get that little bit of BM. They just secure a frag a piece, so potentially if you're the compound, they lose KM. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe they want to chill a little bit, but like if you're the side of delivered, you just got to go, right? 
actually yeah. moving some players towards this flank now. Right yard is fully within their control. Jevon's going to be all the way behind. Go for a deep old bomb. Not really hitting any damage at all. Getting cleaned apart along with Psychas as well. And the rest of the team is really nowhere to be seen. Caper comes in a little bit late. Gets that one frag. And would at least manage to get out. But like they have no choice but to keep moving forward. That second frag is going to make things easier though. 4v4 in the shutter. They just got to kind of like walk forward. The scout. Everex is really overextending there. He's going to be Stan and his medic leaving now. The rockets from KN are doing a couple decent things, but I don't know. This actually has become completely possible. It's only really Garner, Storm as a spawner, and Jorge. They do have an Uber, but they have no chance of contesting mid at this point. This is very, very possible if Delivered can just look to just keep on going. Like a drop from Jorge officially gets him back in the game here for Delivered. Yeah. Like, just because you said Everex will send a bit, he sort of did, but also he kind of got baited by Stan and George. Oh, actually, okay, Shush going down to Everex and. or going down on the flank. Yeah. I misread that situation. Austin might die again. Nah, Stan doesn't chase him. This is just some weird situation with two down on either side. No scouts on the side of the compound, though. What's nope, going they on? are all just towards each other's points. I yeah. don't think anyone has any respect for what Austin they're playing, camping, what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> are you for real? He He's taunting. Well. Yeah. Lucky's you behind. He's dead. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's uh, GG's. Yeah, that is a GG it. on that one. Fair enough. What can you do? What so here we are. Garbage time. This is what I live for. Right, Jevons on Sniper. I want to see something ridiculous. You're going to do it. I can see Shush is hiding with him as well. They want to go for this play. Shush is actually just going to get completely seen. Ooh. Nope, no airshot's going to happen. Go on. Go on, buddy. Hit back. All important headshot he doesn't. Not happening at all. Uh, Black has as well. Wanting to snipe. No respect for the rules. This is disgusting. They're all getting absolutely mulched. Ooh. Was that a big pipe? Did I miss a big pipe somewhere? Oh, well... Austin was on one side of the point and George yes, was on yes, the I other did. behind there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really sad. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Weird words. There, there we go. Jen gets a headshot. Lucky <laughs> like got Stan with his stand in the yard. There we go. That's what not carried the theory of uh, garbage time is just frag clipping. And sometimes, you know, it can really pay off. And I think it did for Austin there. What can you do? You know, it's a, yeah. uh, it's a rough way to lose a grand final. But honestly, you gotta, you gotta respect it. You know, they gave it a go. They, they had their yeah. back and forth. But ultimately, compound, pretty, pretty deservedly winning that. Yeah. Especially with their errant place in the grand finals. So <coughs> <laughs> to the zoo, justice for the zoo. It is what it is. You know. If I take a refreshing sip of water, let's see these lol. Yeah, we'll see us. See what happened in the old stats. See, actually, we are seeing Austin manage to get himself some big damage numbers, even if he's uh, also going for some big death numbers as well. Yeah, I guess just yeah. dying to get the damage, literally. Very, K yeah, very, very literally. KN with the 100% accuracy on Sniper. The one shot he fired was that headshot <laughs> on the Austin on last. Yeah, Gona again did, he did like 19 and 14, put out some like good stats, and then again, yeah, he pounded like 300 DPM. KN going 31 and 17 though, as well. Taking a lot more heals this time though, actually. Top heals he took. Unlike Gona, Gona took like 30 on product, and he was only taking 20% heals on here on Granary, but yeah, it worked out for them. Lucky actually died less than George. Seven deaths to the, the 10 of George. Yeah, they actually did get more Ubers as well, and like, in fairness, losing 3-1 when, uh, when you win all but one of the mid-fights is kind of crazy, right? Like, the mid-fights yeah. were going the way of Delivered, like, they, they had these opportunities, but there was just like, I don't know, they ended up in like some really weird situations. That one where Lucky died to like the exit sign trap was like, that's like a yeah. sad situation, right? Because they went from there literally just to getting rolled all the way straight to last and losing that round. Like, that was their round yeah. in the bag if someone had just like, you know, done a 180 and looked. Oh my god, Ken got 19 air shots on the logs there and Shush got 12. That's cheating. That's cheating. That is that is the, the, the tall pipe that is broken. I refuse to accept it. This should be removed from tournament play. The high pipe, like, air shot spamming broken thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, the pipes on last, yeah. 
ruins the game. Yeah, I completely forgot when you just hit any directs on or any is it any damage or any just directs on those pipes counts as an air shot? Is it just anything? I'm not sure. Oh my days. I've just had a look at the interview me channel and I think there is every player in Div Two. Uh yep. Oh my days. Well, there's is there anything else you wanna pick up on the old logs or do you wanna have a little chat with some of these players, see what they reckon? Neither. Is that an option? Neither. Oh, I'll have to refer to our producer now to see if, <laughs> to see if that's an option. Producer, whisper in my ear, is that an option? He's, oh, he's telling me it's court mandated and we don't have a choice. I'm really sorry. Um, oh, what can you do? You know, it is, it is what it is. I'll start dragging some of these players. We'll give them their moment in the spotlight, you know? Yeah. Oh my God, this is going to take forever. I'm even going to unmute them because I'm a nice guy like that. Yo. Hello. Joke's on you. I'm already hello. unmuted. Oh, uh, hello. My god. Right. Okay. So we hello. have Everex, Jevon, Jorge, Caper, KN, Lucky, and Storm, which is basically most of the server. I'll, I'll do a collective. Hi. How's it going? Great. How it? I'm all right. How are you? Just great. Thank you. Thank you for asking. So we did just see, obviously, a somewhat one-sided uh, event obviously there was uh some some little drama going into this game yeah, beforehand was... little, yeah, little bit of drama well. back and forth you know tell me about it tell me. well i'll get i guess <laughs> we, we can start off we can start Hashtag off by congratulating people you know well done, yeah. well done compound big uh big big win for you guys you know what have you got planned for the future what's gonna uh, be happening uh... big div one seasons or Thanks, first of all. Hopefully not cringe in Div 1 again. Mm. We'll see, we'll see. Depends, yeah, I don't know. Things are a little bit up in the air at the moment, so... We don't quite know ourselves, but hopefully we'll get a roster for next season and just do well in Div 1, you know? That's the plan. That's fair enough. Obviously going into this game, you... You guys would probably have been referred to as everyone, uh, as, as the favorites. Um, obviously, initially, you would have expected to have been playing versus the zoo, and then obviously you found your own opponents in this game by whatever means. Uh, in terms of going to this game today, obviously, you, you had your own little upset about five hours ago. How much did you know about the whole God Mode situation out of interest? Uh, I was nothing. Yeah, I was <laughs> not aware of anything until like three hours before the official, and God Mode just messaged me, and he's like, Yo, I might not be able to play the official because I'm getting banned. See ya. <laughs> that's, that's a little bit unfortunate, I will be honest with you. Were you slightly uh, slightly worried about your competition then, not having your main scout, or was it just a case of, now nah, we'll be fine? Um, I was worried until uh, I figured out that some of our subs could play, so we had like Jinxie on backup and Everex said he could play as well, so I was happy with that. Thanks to Everex for showing up on such a short notice as well. You're very welcome. The carry yeah. of the game. What about that one? The brain carry. Definitely the brain. Yeah, actually, I was kind of screaming. Church tone, drop. Do not do it. <laughs> and he was also screaming, get on my cam, get on my cam. <laughs> that's correct. <laughs> that's, fucking, that's not true. Yeah, it is. Get on my cam, I'm going to drop the medic. And he dies. Actually, yeah, I wanted to sack on heavy. That's probably the <laughs> funniest thing I called. Yeah, that on top. Can on pop banner right yeah. now. I'm gonna yeah, sack on heavy. That, yeah. Pop banner. I want to sack on heavy. I would have been good, and then George is screaming, "Don't do anything." I was like, "Come on." <laughs> Just one eighteen director spy that's on George. I guess. Uh, I guess we'll give a moment to to some of our boys as well on delivered. Obviously, commiserations. Bit of a bit of a rough night for you guys. You also had to get a couple subs to stand in. Shush and I've already forgotten who else the other one was. Uh, Austin. Shush and Austin. Obviously, yeah, like that. I would imagine really threw a spanner into the works. In terms of going into the game, were you like a little bit kind of worried about things? Were you, I don't know, did uh, you have any time to prepare with your guys or what, what was it like for you guys? Didn't give a fuck at it. Still. <laughs> Just played Incredible. the game and uh, played the game. No, uh, we, we obviously knew coming into it. We barely had any scrim time. We played once on Saturday against a mixed team and that was all the preparation that we had actually going into that for anything. And we weren't even playing with Austin either. So it was a bit like big cringe uh, coming into the final. <laughs> But it's fine. It was it was a good game. They played better than us through the season, I think. Very, very fair. Uh, go on, Kermit. You can have some pressing questions. You can have some controversial stuff to bring out, you know. You're the interesting one. 
I said all the stuff about ETF twelve and how they need some more transparency. I think uh, that's all I really needed to see. Did you go in on people the entire cast? Nah. <laughs> you should. It was definitely some BS, you know. CJ yeah. play like playing mid last season as medic is not allowed to play it in Div two this season. Yeah, it's, but it's because he lost prem playoffs. Uh, that's that's a question mark from me. Hey especially, guys. especially where anyone can play medic and open. So what's, what's the difference here? I don't know. I don't understand it. I'd like a yeah. good explanation, but I doubt we will get that ever. Yeah. Rule seven point three, admin discretion. Lol. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> from, my, from my perspective, though, is um literally just the case of the the better team won. So GG's guys. Yeah, GG. Well played. Very polite. I was honestly hoping people would be a little bit more each other's throats because that'd make it exciting. But I guess this is just a feel-good ending, you know. If anyone wants to do any like BM right now, you guys ever... are shit. There you <laughs> go. Oh, ever. everything I said in week three was true. Are, are you oh, guys no. going to try to claim a default as well on this one, or? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Right, Another like, major warning to make sure that didn't happen. Admins, this is a joke. <laughs> Come on, All right. We might need to put a disclaimer here, man. April Fools is next year. Boys, that's it. I'm calling it. Let's do some let's do some shout outs. Let's finish uh wrap up people's nights, let them get on with whatever else they want to do. We'll start off with uh Everex doing some shout outs. So uh shout out to the team that I was on for the entire season and didn't play and then got drafted into the grand finals and we won, so very well played to you all. Lovely little shout out. Jevin, what do you want to say? Uh shout out to Noppers, shout out to Austin, Piggy, Porky. Uh, shout out to my boy Henrik. And uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, Mr. George, as you're affectionately being named, any shout out to you? Just call him the boss. Named according to who? Uh, Kermit. Mm. Yeah, Mr. George. Well, shout out to you, for you, uh, to you guys for casting. Anyone watching this and my team, of course. Paper? Uh, shout out to Austin, uh, my team, and PUBG. <laughs> uh, some after. So we'll go on to KN, any shout outs for you? Shout outs to Troy, shout outs to Grix, shout outs to Sprite, shout outs to Polygon, and shout outs to Jinxie. Fair enough, lucky, on to you. Shout outs to you guys for casting, for doing an epic job this season. Uh, shout outs to the compound for a good game and good scrims through the season, it was fun. And shout outs to Polly's Pad. Then we'll round it out a little bit more with Storm. Yep. Uh, shout outs to the anime team as well as the production. Uh, shout outs to Kermit for being awesome and casting games throughout the season. And to my friends Juno, Adam, Tom, Matt, Hemp, Hugo, Seeds, and Five. And then shout outs to Kogu, Fine Christians, and UB. And uh, just a big thanks to everyone that's helped our team like Sub and Merc throughout the season as well. It's been very nice. So thank you very much. Good stuff. Kermit, how about you? I'll give a shout out to Stephen Gaynor and Morsi Fanshaw, and to me maybe get nominated for Caster of the Season this year. We'll just <laughs> see if it happens. Fingers crossed. Oh, um, I was going to say I'd vote for you, but eat, please, sir. I, I would vote well, for Kermit, honestly. Monka S. Well, I currently plan on it, you know. Thank, thank you, thank you. And oh, yeah, one shout more. from you. Oh, yeah. One more, oh. actually. One shout Go out on. to uh, Godmode. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, come on, it's too late. It's too nah, late, nah, nah, man. It's nah, too nah, late. Nah, nah. I've got it <laughs> now. I've got it shout now. Shout-outs for getting banned five hours before the official. <laughs> wow. Yeah, shout-outs for getting banned, bro. Shout-out. All right, I will round it all up. Uh, shout-out to uh, players for the teams. Obviously, congrats to the compound for securing their big old win. Um, shout-out to the people watching, and obviously Kermit and Arch for being involved in the cast with me. Uh, and a big shout out to our Premiership Grand Finals, which should be happening, I believe, on the 4th of December. So that is the upcoming Wednesday. So keep an eye out on all the Twitters and TFTVs for that game coming up, because that's obviously going to be Ascent EU versus Aura Electro, and it's going to be a big one. But I guess until then, uh, we'll catch you guys next time.